Looking to upgrade your camera? In this video, we're gonna be checking out three brand new cameras from Canon for content creators. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we're here at NAB Show here in Las Vegas, checking out some brand new Canon cameras. And there's some pretty cool ones that I want you to see. The first one is the Canon M6. Now this is a mirrorless camera with interchangeable lenses. And what's really cool about the M6 is that it has a flip screen, really for vloggers. I would say that this camera is a great tool for those that want to create vlogs on the go, very small, very portable, you get interchangeable lenses and you get a screen that turns to selfie, uh, which the reason they were able to do that is because they took away the viewfinder, which for some people, you would want that viewfinder and you can actually add it on this camera later. You can uh, buy a separate electronical viewfinder, but I think you know for vloggers, this setup makes sense right here. You have a mic input and you have dual pixel autofocus. That means it's really good at autofocus, really good at tracking your face in video mode. And so that is super solid. You also get the new Digic 7 processor. So the whole camera moving fast, working great for you. 45 points of autofocus, as we said, that autofocus is super solid. A couple in-body uh, time-lapse modes. So if you're out vlogging, you wanna time-lapse when you get to a city, be creative. That's really easy to do. Plus you also have some digital image stabilization. Now, of course, we would have liked to see optical image stabilization, but still that's gonna be helpful for handheld shots to eliminate shake and get great results. And it's 1080 at up to 60p, 60 frames a second. So you can even do some slow motion and some things things like that. So this is definitely one of the cameras I have my eyes on for really one of the best vlogging cameras of 2017. The fact that you can go interchangeable lenses, even shoot some pro stuff, but also use it for run and gun vlogging, a great camera to check out. Next up is the Canon 77D. Now, this is an interesting camera release. It's in between the 70D and the 80D. And there's a couple of cool things with this particular camera, one of which is, of course, you get that dual pixel, that phenomenal autofocus that we've experienced with the 70D and the 80D. You get the Digic 7 processor. You get that flip screen, so you can do great for creating YouTube videos, maybe for vlogging, but probably more typically if you're gonna be shooting videos like at a home office, you know, a typical YouTube content creator, somebody like that. And one of the things I love about this camera is it actually has kind of like a beginner mode that if you're just getting started, you can turn it into that mode and it'll help you with your photography, help you figure out how to get that blurry background, help you figure out how to get you know motion blur in sports photography. And so that mode is there, it's pretty cool. You have a lot of autofocus points and uh, one of the differences between this and the third camera we're talking about is you have really a pro body build. So it's kind of got nice a nice vibe to it, great in my hands. Again, a little bit bigger. And so I shoot currently a lot of our YouTube videos with a 70D. This is a few steps up. You have some time-lapse modes that the 70D, does, 70D doesn't have. And uh, overall, a great camera to check out. By the way, prices on these, the 77D, this one, it comes in for $900 uh, here in the US and the M6 is at 779 and those are for just the body, right? So then you gotta get lenses and whatnot but those are the prices on there. And then Canon number three is the T7i, the latest camera to hit the Rebel line. Basically what you get with this is almost everything you get with the 7070D in not quite the same body, a little bit smaller. It doesn't have the top uh, viewfinder that the uh, other, that the 7070D has. Not quite um, as meant for like rugged weather or whatnot, but still a ton of great features, the same thing. You got the flip screen, you got the great autofocus, you've got the mic input, you've got the new Digic 7 processor for the speed. And so the T7i comes in at $750. And so a great one to check out, maybe save a few dollars off the 77D. And this camera right here is something I would highly recommend for creating content, right? 
The selfie screen is so important so that you can see yourself. The dual pixel autofocus is great so you can track your face, make sure everything's in focus. And whether you wanted to maybe put this on like a little Joby uh, tripod and use it for vlogging or shoot some more pro content, you know, back wherever you shoot your videos, this would be a great choice. The T7i also shoots 1080p at 60 frames a second. So you could do a little bit of slow motion there or maybe you like that 60 frames a second look. And it also has that beginner mode. In fact, the T7i starts in that kind of beginner mode. So this would be a great camera to get started with, to start learning how to shoot with. In the 7070D, you have to turn that mode on, but it's something that is available, again, if you want to. You're maybe new to creating content, to creating videos, and you want some really cool features to walk you through and educate you how to get those great images, those great shots right inside of the camera. Something definitely worth checking out. So there you have it, the M6, the T7i, and the 77D. Some new camera offerings from Canon that are definitely some great you know, choices for leveling up your camera, leveling up your production value. And so question of the day, are you thinking about upgrading your camera this year? Let me know in the comments section below and let me know what kind of camera you're looking at. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Click the subscribe button for more video content and coverage of NAB and click this playlist to see all of our other videos from NAB this year. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.